Has anything changed that might have lured the Glintox? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Oh, wow. So very centric and recycling. Oof, am I right? Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. So much Karja hate, man. What exactly do you do here? <laughs> He has like I'm a wicked mayor. vendetta. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Mm. Wow, that's one hell of a promotion right there. And I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hawks to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. People process grief in many different ways anger is one of them has anyone come trying to sell lures it's weird They're but that's how the grieving machines. process works is that real sadness <laughs> is anger that sort of nor a joke belief maybe i'll take that as a no why don't i investigate why the glint hawks are attacking you've got your hands full really no one ever offers to help me you uh any good at tracking of course i'm alloy let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carch is behind all this. Again with the carja hate. That is crazy. As far as investigations concerned, let me see what type of trail I'm able to pick up on. So investigate pitch cliff, right? Let me just take a look at the map here. So yeah, right here. Lover of ladies, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. Hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Where am I investigating to be exact? Right here. Goose. Sweet. Wait, what's that? Wait, what signal is that? Hold on. I hear it. It's somewhere in this corner. Turn off! Turn off! What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? By I just sun. said that. That's Turn funny. Off. That device is making the Glint Hawks attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. Okay, well, that's one way of doing it. Ja, that's it. <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? Yeah, that's like a new level of nosiness. Extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. All because of you with that, that machine device. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. Well, you're just an over glorified scavenger who actually is an ass because of your device. Mad people died. And you're still trying to justify that. That's insane. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. 
I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our Don't be preaching to me your stupid little philosophy. Oh. No, I didn't As see if. another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Wow, so dramatic. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glintox? By the sun, no. I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an he's talking as if he's writing Can't some crazy adventurer Time story is too perilous I'll take my chances you just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess all right now I know exactly where I'm heading off so this should be fun I am finally at the campsite let me just do a nice little quick save here. I just love lighting up the campfire, but then again, I guess that's just my inner... my inner pyro self. Love playing with fire. That's why I collect a whole bunch of lighters. And I almost fell to my death. Oof, okay. Another round of this rock climbing business, as always. But then again, I think that's just the majority of what Verizon... Sorry, of what Horizon Zero Dawn's about. I can't believe I said Verizon. Oof. Look at that! Slow motion! Hey, Alloy, I see you with your action sports self. I'm just surprised that she's able to have such a good grip, because isn't a lot of these edges full of ice? Oh, I have to go through here, huh? This twin ledging action here is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, where am I supposed to go to? Hey, where am I supposed to go to at this point? Oh, over here. Sweet. Wait, who's here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shut up. That's right. Come here. Woo! Psych! Got one. I got one. Woo! Yeah, that's right. Get some of this action. Let's go. I'm not afraid of you. Woo! This machine thinks it's hot stuff, huh? Come on, where's my sliding? What? Run, Alloy! Run! There you go. Come here. I'm not afraid of you. Come on. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No machine can mess with me. You know why? Because I'm alloy. Because I have the biggest plot armor in the story. So naturally, I'm not going to die. Come on now. Okay, so we're pretty much close to the workshop. And the thing is, who would want a workshop in the middle of a mountain... A mountainous storm fest here? This is pretty annoying, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not really in the mood to deal with all of these machines, either. This is just doing too much as it is. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Are you kidding me? Alright, so we got one. Let me go ahead and dodge my way out of here. 
Can I? No, no, I can't even examine it because this thing's here. Man, ain't that something? I got a bird here. I got a bird here, right? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be. This is gonna be a fight of my life. It really is. Come here. Why am I not shooting straight? Then again, the pressure. The pressure is getting wassa. Where's this bird? Where is this bird? Hold on. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Horrible. Right here, right here. Thank you. I am trying to like roll. Roll for my life. Look at this. Look at this. Right here. Come here. Boom. I'm not even shooting in any of the plates. By the way, this is booty. Woo! Come on. Wow. I've gotten hit. Right here. Finally, I shot something. A miracle. A miracle that I'm shooting something. Hold still. Thank you. Come on. Bingo. I am fighting for my life here. Woo! Woo! This is so scary. I'm not trying to die here. Come here. Bingo, let's go. There you go. Woo, this bird is really putting up a good fight. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I got one. I got one. Nice. So... I'll do the wings. Wow, I can't even shoot to save my life. I cannot shoot to save my life. Okay, now I got one. Now I got one. Come on. Hold still. Oh, I missed. Of course I missed. Let me go and craft some more because I know I need some. Look at that. Anyways. Can you, like, hold still for me, please? Thank you. It's as if this game knows I suck at aiming. Seriously. Woo! Alright, let me hide here. Yes! I got one! I got one! Nice. Alright, one more. Oh, come on. How did I miss? How did I miss? Come on. Woo! Alright, let's go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, I actually did it. I actually survived this. Birds of prey. That's basically what this whole fight is. Birds of prey. Now I can actually take the time to examine all of those things. See what's it about. And then we can put this all behind us. Okay, got one. Okay, the other one's there. I was about to say, don't tell me I have to climb all the way to the other side to get to these two things here. Okay, this one's good. And then the last one. Where would the last one be? Oh, I found you. Got you. No more lures. Now about this workshop. I see a clue, so... Hello? So Draval was behind these lures. Brilliant. And dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. Yes, let's go back because this place is just too cold for me. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. Because I'm alloy, that's why. Won't be any more. The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. 
My troops want to spit and shake your hand. That's nasty. I I want to pass. Pitchcliff and my family, I thank you. You're welcome. Spit and shake my hand. Ugh, I'm good, fam. You can keep that to yourself. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Excuse me? Don't tell me what to do. Thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? Mm-hmm. So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuke is to stay clear of your past. Oh, she got you right there. Ooh. Buried in that mountain, the Nora deems sacred, not in the ice of the cut. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Thank you. Didn't need your permission, but thank you nonetheless. Look at him being all salty. Anyways... You know what I'm about to do. I'm about to explore this DLC, Frozen Wilds. Because I'm actually intrigued by this. Why not? And it's time anyways. I mean, I'm definitely at the required stage of me going through this DLC. So, let's explore. And also, how do I... Okay. This is a lot of climbing just to get to this DLC. I'm not going to lie. Am I even close? I'll take that. Thank you. No space. What? Oh no, my shoes! Oh, They're wet. What? Well, I'm ready, so. That's right, big boy! I'm right here. You can't even do anything about it. Woo! What? Oh no, oh no. What what I put off more than I can shoot. I definitely put off more than I can shoot. Oh no. Oh no, we're not doing this. Come here. Come here. Ooh, I am on fire, man. I am on fire. Come on. Oh, come on, alloy. Boom! Almost had him! Almost had him! Woo! Come here! This thing can't even hold still. I'm surprised I'm not even burnt to death, honestly. Come on, come on! Woo! That's insane! I forgot this DLC has new machines to deal with. But you know, once again, I survived because that's plot armor for you. <gasps> Can we just talk about the sky for a second? Look at how beautiful this place is! Kind of reminds me of Skyrim. With its beautiful scenery of the sky at night. This is a law of walking, I'm not gonna lie. And we still haven't even gotten to the place yet. I'll take this, thank you. I'll take that, thank you. I wonder why Sil Silas doesn't really want me to explore. I'm just curious. And also, this blue torch thing is pretty cool. Okay, so Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Friend, foe, please. I hope you're just a friend because I don't think I'm in the mood to fight people. Hey, that's right. I am officially in the DLC of Frozen Wilds. Beautiful. Why not? I did let one of my subs know that I will be exploring the DLC, so this is it. <laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? Are you a sweat from the climb? Are you dead ass right now? Talking all that smack for what? Like I just got here. 
Calm down. I literally just got here. This is really crazy. But dude, the music. I just love the music. Hmm. Alright, well, let me just keep going here. This is so nice. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. This is so beautiful. Um, can we talk about the sky though? Look how beautiful the sky is. But yeah, shout out to Druin Dids72. Like I said, I was gonna start doing the DLC, so here it is. Obviously, it's a lot more earlier than I was planning on doing it, but you know what? Why not? Am I right? You made it to the cut, Outlander. Now okay. Okay. Um, thanks for welcoming me. I don't know. Whoa! What is that? Hey, yo! Did she? Do you guys see this? Oh man, I feel like this DLC is going to be so crazy. Keep in mind, this is the first time I'm actually playing through this DLC, so I am not aware of what's going to happen, what's going on, what I'm getting myself into. So this is going to be my first playthrough of the Frozen Wilds. This is nice, I'm not going to lie. I wonder if there's any cute outfits for me to buy. Okay, I'm here. I like how she doesn't say excuse me. You're mad rude for that, Alloy. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. So what's today? What are you guys burning instead? Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. So no one's concerned about the volcano right in front of them? Okay. What are we waiting for? Oh no! Oh wait, hold on. They're not attacking us? Amazing. Is that a weapon I can use? Because I actually would want one. Thank you. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it. For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, 
Can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? This is a very good inspirational speech. I'm not gonna lie. As well as they did. Like, I'm about to fight and die for these people that the I haven't even met yet. My spear! My hands! In your teeth, Aratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. Yeah! Hell yeah, I'm ready to fight. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. It's revenge, man. An eye for an free. eye. Uh, makes the whole world blind. Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Two years. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get startled by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Wow, that's crazy. It's like they're so blind by rage that they're willing to get themselves killed. Like a suicide mission, basically. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Of course you did. You're a merchant, aren't you? Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. If we could get through to enough of them, we could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant. Barge no, no, no. Cook. Your daughter. My daughter. Okay, okay, cool. We seem to get along better as business partners. Oh, the awkward. Mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh. Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Oh, Look okay, okay. Large, the easternmost Banuk camp. Right. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. Okay, but so he's a mute. But when came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. You know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Damn, he's really killing your business. That sucks. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory. Banur. Just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warricks. Man, look how beautiful the scenery is, man. I'm mesmerized. This place is nice. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. That looks so scary to me, honestly. I don't know how this village is so comfortable with still being near that place. That looks like it's about to explode any time. Are getting more vicious. That's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion. For all I know, but Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A 
a challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. True. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banook with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banook want to forget. Uh huh. Sure Don't down, tell me. I got me. the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or. They messed with him. So he had to leave. All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Araya's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. So there is some tea on Silas. This is going to be I so want to interesting. Know more about this mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or what? To it. Something connected to how the machines behave. If yeah, let me let me help. Area. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgund. Don't mention it. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.